Hello again. In this video, I'll explain the role of the subset variables, the third and fourth drop slots. We're starting out with the Census at School 500 dataset again, already imported. This time, I'm going to work in View Variables mode. I'll start by dragging cell source to the variable 1 box. This gives me the cell source distribution for everyone. Now I'll drag gender to the first subset variable box, which is the third slot. I now have two entirely separate graphs. One gives a cell source distribution for females, and the other gives a cell source distribution for males. Next, let's clear all the variables. I'll drag height into variable 1 and gender into variable 2. This gives dot plots of height broken out by gender for the whole dataset, presented within a single graph. I'll now drag year to subset variable 1, which is a third slot. I'm still getting dot plots of height broken out by gender, but I now have four separate graphs like this, one graph for each of four groups, which are class intervals of year. Generally, when we already have a type of graph, which is determined by what's in variable slots 1 and 2, introducing a subsetting variable lets us explore how the pattern we see in that type of graph changes when we look across different subgroups of individuals. If the subsetting variable is categorical, Insight uses all of the category groups, but if we subset using a numeric variable like year, Insight makes four groups by splitting the range of that variable up into four class intervals. I'll illustrate the difference now. Without showing the process, I've created a categorical variable of year called year.cat. When I subset using year.cat, instead of four graphs, I have ten, one for each um, value of year.cat. I now want to illustrate the use of the slider that appears under slot 3 when a variable is dragged there. The slider lets you step through the graphs looking at each subgroup in turn. You can drag the slider handle but it's quicker and easier to click the slider handle and then use the left and right arrows to move it up and down. This stepping through the graphs draws our attention to changes much more powerfully than a whole tiled set of graphs does. Let's clear the variables and put height in variable slot 1 and right foot in variable slot 2. They're both numeric so this gives us a scatter plot. Let's put year in subset variable 1 which is slot 3. Initially, the slider handle is in the far left position, which is labelled multi, and we see the whole tiled set of graphs. We can then step through them using the slider. We can also use the play button. Let's clear slot 3. We're back to a single scatter plot of height versus right foot for everybody. If I now put year into the subset variable 2, or the fourth slot, We still only see one graph. Nothing appears to have changed except the slider has appeared. Its handle is at the left hand side which is labelled all. We are still looking at one scatter plot for everyone in the dataset. For all. But when we slide we step through the groups. And when we get all the way to the far right, the slider position is labelled multi and we see the whole set of plots. This behaviour of starting out with everyone together and then stepping through the subgroups is sometimes preferred. We can also use both of the subsetting variables. Let's clear year from the second subset variable, slot 4, and use it as the first subset variable, slot 3. We'll add gender as the second subset variable, slot 4. This now allows us to look at any combination of year group and gender. Here's females in years 4 to 7, males in years 4 to 7, males in years 7 to 8, males in all years. When we push the first slider to the far left and the second to the far right, we see the complete set of graphs for all the combinations of gender and year. 
That completes our set of videos on the basics of insight.